is focusing on our own inner conflicts enough to effectuate change in America? Only if it includes the conflict between the part of us that is ready to be mature individuals who rise to the occasion, which includes our citizenship and, and, and participating as mature adults in the collective changes that need to occur. That's part of the conflict. The conflict between that part of me and the part of me that might be so focused on my own individual concerns and issues that, no, I'm not participating. And so, no, it's not enough. You know, there is a point at which internal change and internal uh, focus on personal purification, as important as it is, <clears throat> would then be used by the ego mind to become a kind of exercise in narcissism and self-obsession. You know, one of the weaknesses of the dominant psychotherapeutic paradigm that has prevailed within our civilization for the last almost hundred years is this focus on the individual sufferer. You're depressed because of this, and he's depressed because of that, and she's depressed because of that, and everybody's focusing on their own individual circumstances. Sometimes we need to take a, take a step back and realize we're all depressed about the same thing. That the cause of your depression and your stress, let's say you're depressed about your financial situation. Well, if you step back enough, you realize how the causal factors involved in, in your financial stress and the causal factor involved in your financial stress and the uh, causal factor cause, uh, uh, causing your uh, financial stress is the same factor. And so it needs to be addressed collectively because it is best understood as a collective issue. If there's a job description for each and every one of us, it's the job assignment, which is our divine purpose. And that is to rise to the occasion of life, to recognize to the best of our ability, none of us are going to get it right every moment, that every encounter is a holy one. The love in you, there to encounter the love in someone else. Atone for your mistakes and seek to forgive other people for theirs. And take ownership of this extraordinary planet and know that where there is darkness, we are here to be the lights. And don't just whine, don't just complain, judge, criticize, all that stuff's easy enough. Rise to the occasion. Be the, be the change, as Gandhi said, be the light. A lot of times easier said than done, but the effort itself is that job description, making the effort, doing the best we can.